Welcome back to my coverage of the Waves Aquatic Centre redevelopment. This is episode 16, recorded on the 3rd of April 2022. I normally like to produce an episode every three or four weeks. However, on this occasion, it's been six weeks due to unrelenting rain. Here's what's changed since my last update. Interior walls of the amenities block are complete. Work on the splash pad structure is still stalled, no action there. Preparation for roofing covering the amenities block and the walkway has begun. Work on the covered poolside viewing areas is continuing. Work on the clubhouse roof is almost complete. And in the rose garden, more paths have been repaved near the rotunda. I'm guessing work is progressing inside the centre as well, but of course I can't see that from the air. Just a reminder, this video and the map are high resolution 4K and therefore are best viewed on something larger than a phone. Uh, you should use a tablet, notebook or desktop computer if you can. As usual, in this video I'll run the drone around the perimeter of the site to show you the current status and then compare the video from this episode with the last so you can see the differences. Remember to have a look at the video description for more information, particularly if you want to view the very high resolution drone maps I prepare for each episode. You can download the maps and then zoom in on those areas of particular interest to you. I've also included links to the architect plans for the new aquatic centre. These have been on the Hillshire website for some time now, so they may not be up to date. If you find this video interesting, please like, share, subscribe and hit the bell icon so you get notifications whenever I upload a new video. Now over to the drone circuit of the construction site and then the side-by-side -side comparison. No more commentary from here, just the sounds of nature I recorded in the Rose Garden.